welcome to the episode 13 rundown show. We'll be bringing you all the news for episode 13. But before we get into any of that, if you are new here, please could you consider going down to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the news here at NFHW. But let's hand you over to our ring announcer for the opening contest. Welcome to the episode 13 rundown show. This opening contest is a number one contender match. Introducing first. W champion, the man who seasons, Xander Cooper. So Xander Cooper losing the title last week, but not to El Gran Queso, who he had that scheduled match with. But after the show, Xander Cooper was on his way home. Bentos cashed in that title D's contract and successfully defeated Xander Cooper backstage after the show. Now, as you may remember, Robert Sharp was the number one contender who was gonna face the winner of the Xander Cooper El Gran Queso match. But NFHW management has signed this match here. So whoever wins this match will be going on to episode 13 face the champion Bentos and you've got to believe that Xander Cooper is not happy about this he must have thought he would get a guaranteed shot at the at Bentos but that is not the case and only one of these two gentlemen and will be going on their opponent to episode 13 this will be all right What's it called then? This will be okay, right? He is the mighty ducky, Robert Sharp. Of course, episode 13 is falling on May 13th. Well, let's hope it'll be okay. I'm sure it will. But one of these two men will be there in the main event, facing the mathematical genius Ventos for the NFHW Championship. And Robert Sharp, you've got to think, is not happy about this either. But we don't have long to go. We have got Barry refereeing this opening contest. So both of these men, not happy with the situation they find themselves in. But they're going to have to make the best of it. Because only one of them can go on to get that title shot but which one will it be Xander Cooper hitting that reverse DDT on Robert Sharp and Xander Cooper now just pounding away at Robert Sharp going for the cover Barry's there for the count just a two count Sharp managing to power his way out but looking a little dazed but catches Xander there and a big headbutt drops Cooper I think Robert Sharp might have been playing possum a little bit, drawing the Cooper in. Now Robert Sharp going to work on the arm of Zander and a big kick to the back. And going back to the arm once again. Getting Cooper back up to his feet. Oh, just a flurry of shots. And hitting Cooper with those elbows into the side of the head. And Cooper going down. Robert Sharp has some intensity into his eyes and he hits that big move into the cover. Just a two though, Xander Cooper managing to get his shoulder up off of the canvas. But I think the damage has been done. That was a big impact for Cooper to take as Sharp hits that jawbreaker. And a big boot to the back of Cooper. Now, oh, Cooper rolls through. Gets a couple of big elbow shots into the face of Robert Sharp. There's Cooper now. Cooper taking a risk, going up to that top rope. Big gamble and it pays off. Cooper with that big splash from the top rope. Connects to Robert Sharp but doesn't go for the cover. Putting Sharp back up to his feet. Rolls through, going for that DDT. Robert Sharp fighting out though. 
now Cooper sending Sharp into the corner but gets caught following up and another big headbutt there and the man for all seasons is down once again oh and we look Robert Sharp he's gone he's connected with it into the cover and that is all he she wrote Robert Sharp defeating the man for all seasons, Xander Cooper. So now that is the first match signed and sealed for episode 13. It will be okay, right? As Robert Sharp will be facing Ventos for the NFHW title. And speaking of titles, we also have the women's tag team titles on the line, episode 13, as Wilhelmina, not Wilhelmina, I'm so sorry, she's in our next match here. But as the, as the BP Bunch, gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. We'll be taking on Villamella and for the titles. Introducing first, this is Wilhelmina. Of course, the BP Bunch picked up a victor victory, a victory over the Battle Cats a couple of weeks ago to earn their shot at the title. But now we have got a match to decide who will be facing Kayla Hatton at episode 13. And Wilhelmina is involved, which is why I was getting confused. But she is here in singles action, not something that we've really seen Wilhelmina too often in. We know her as a tag team competitor. Their opponent. But whenever she has been in, in singles action, she has been very, very dominant. This is Ashwang. And Ashwang is her opponent here today. What a tough matchup this is going to be. Both of these women, very, very capable competitors. And only one of them can get the victory. But quite synonymous here, the absence of both Wilhelmina's and Ashwang's tag team partners. We wanted this to be a one-on-one -on -one match. So nobody is allowed at ringside for this one. One of these women will get the opportunity of a lifetime, episode 13, to face Kayla Hatton for the title. We've not seen Ashwan in action for a while here, actually. Let's hope no ring rust has set in. But we don't have long to wait to find out. I'm sure Ashwan has been preparing for this match. And she is a dangerous wrestler. Just moments away now. And we've got Larry, our referee, for this contest. With both women facing off, Larry calls to the bell. Wilhelmina coming out with a big onslaught, catching Ashwang off guard, I think, there. But Ashwang with those shots in the midsection, but gets caught, gets caught with an innovative move by Wilhelmina into the cover. Just a two count. But Ashwang, I don't think she'll... Where is Wilhelmina going? Wilhelmina to the top rope. And a big double axe handle, but countered into that backbreaker. We don't often see Wilhelmina going up and taking those high-risk maneuvers. That is much more the domain of her tag team partner, Kelly. And now Ashwang in control. Just with those brutal kicks but a jawbreaker Wilhelmina trying to create some distance and a big drop kick an impressive manoeuvre there by Willow dropping Ashwang 
And now Wilhelmina in control. Goes that waist lock. Oh, and suplex. Taking Ashwang over. And I think Ashwang might have come down on her head there. Willow locks up and just launches Ashwang. The strength of Wilhelmina is something else. And now just walking around, carrying Ashwang around as if she was nothing. And just launching her across the ring. And a big jumping clothesline nearly takes the head of Ashwang clean off her shoulders. But somehow Ashwang has enough left to kick out. Now Wilhelmina just waiting for Ashwang to get back to her feet. Bringing her up into that bear hug. Just crushing the life out of Ashwang. And Ashwang is in trouble. Can she find a way out of this? And Wilhelmina just dropping Ashwang down. And just pounding away to the back of the head. That is some brutal but effective tactics there. Oh, a big Uranagi connects. Surely that is it. Here is your winner and the number one contender, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina dominated Ashwang there. And now we have another match signed for episode 13. It will be Wilhelmina challenging Kayla Hatton for that NFHW women's title. And what a matchup that is going to be. Kayla Hatton, I don't think, has ever been in the ring with someone with the power of Wilhelmina. But let me hand you over and to our this ring announcer. Now time for our main event. And it is a triple threat match for the Ascension title. Introducing our first challenger. This is the powerhouse Blake. There is Blake who absolutely dominated the triple threat relegation match, match on Wednesday at the men's final of season three in the Wednesday Night Wars. He absolutely annihilated both Drew Tatum and Kenny Kendra to pin Kenny Kendra to earn his right for a shot at the Ascension title. And we thought to ourselves, why delay? Let's get that title shot today. So this is a triple threat match. And the champion does not have to be involved in the decision to lose the belt. And of course, the party boy Glazer Gates has been involved in one of these matches before. our second challenge. And it didn't go too well for him, where Cuban Heat defeated Party Boy to get the belt, only to lose it again the following week to Party Boy Glazer Gates. He is the winner of the season three Wednesday Night Wars, the master of submission, Danny Taylor. But he has got two new competitors to go up against, including this gentleman here, who won season three of the Wednesday Night Wars, Danny Taylor. He got that impressive victory over Saxon Hall, giving away a lot of strength and power. But he persevered and managed to break down the bigger man. But can he do that here against Blake? But then, I'm not sure if this match really favours the technical prowess here of Danny Taylor. When you've got three people in the ring, it's much harder to out-wrestle your opponents. But if anyone can do it, Danny Taylor can. And introducing the Ascension title champion. And here he is, the Ascension this champion. The party boy, Graza Gates. The party boy, Graza Gates. The first ever Ascension Champion and a two-time Ascension Champion. But he did only have that belt missing for one week. And 
is once again stepping into the ring to defend that title against two other gentlemen. Knowing that even if he is not involved in the pink loss mission, that belt will be no longer his. And that's not an enviable, 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 that's the word, place to be. The party boy, Gladder Gates, he knows what to expect. He has been in this kind of match before. Unsuccessfully, but he has been in this kind of match before. But we have put his face in the technical prowess of Danny Taylor and the sheer strength of Blake. This should be an interesting matchup. Of course, Blake, very, very proficient in these triple threat matches, as we saw on Wednesday. And only one of these people will walk out the champion. And we've got Gary referee in this match. The party boy going after Blake. Danny Taylor going after the party boy. Russian leg sweep. And now Danny Taylor turning his attention to the powerhouse Blake. And all three men just exchanging blows here. Big drop kick by the party boy. Drops Blake. And a sit-out scoop slam on Danny Taylor. Elbow drop by the party boy. Doesn't see Blake coming up behind him. And that is why these matches are so dangerous. And Blake just launches, launches Grazer Gate over his head with that German. As Danny Taylor trying to get in. Blake just overpower him. Party Boy just holding back a little bit. It's a wise move there. You don't want to like expend energy if you don't need to. Sending Blake to the outside. And now it's just Taylor and Grazer Gates in the ring. Party Boy going up to that top rope. Waiting for Davis to get back to his feet. But Blake is back in the ring. Drop kick just gets brushed away there by Danny Taylor. But Hardy Boy drops Taylor, now focusing over on to Blake. Goes for that bicycle kick, but misses. Blake with a German, the Party Boy lands on his feet. And that backstabber connects to Blake. And the Party Boy just trying to wear down the bigger man, wrenching that arm round. Taylor back in the ring. Gets caught by the party boy with that Northern Light suplex. Now just stretching out the shoulder. But Blake back up, blocks that hit. Big forearm shot. And that is something you do not want to take. You do not want to start getting battered by Blake. Now the party boy up on Blake's shoulders, but fighting down. Manages to get back to his feet. Spins Blake through. Neck breaker connects. But whoop, Danny Taylor trying to catch Party Boy, but Party Boy ducks underneath an impaler DDT. Blake is on the outside. Party Boy in control. He's looking for that party shooter. He's got it connecting. Can he get that submission here? Blake just getting back to his feet. He's seen what's going on. Breaks up that hold. And Danny Taylor manages to get a big shot into the party boy. Danny Taylor firing up onto the party boy, but Blake just catches Taylor. Blake bringing Taylor up. Oh, just launches him across the ring into those ropes. The party boy gets caught by Blake and drives that knee into the ribs of the party boy. And now just choking the life out of the Grazer Gates. Blake gets, gets him up. Oh, there it is, that jackhammer. Doesn't go for the pin, wise move, but still gets caught by Danny Taylor. I think Blake was aware that Taylor was still in the ring and on his feet but couldn't get back to his feet quick enough. And Taylor catches, catches Blake with that kick. 
but the Party Boy is already back up. Party Boy catches Ta Taylor. Double unhook rolls through. Neck breaker. And Blake brewing in Party Boy up. Power bomb. Brings the Party Boy back into his shoulders for that Samoan drop. Cover. Taylor on the outside. Gary's there with the count. But just a two count. Party Boy grabs a gate, manages to get his shoulder up off the canvas. But back on the shoulders of Blake. And there's that jackhammer into the pin. Danny Taylor Here just didn't winner. make it in time. New Ascension champion, the powerhouse. Blake. And we have got a new Ascension champion in the powerhouse, Blake. And I've just been told that at episode 13, the party boy will get to face Blake one-on-one. -on -one. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW.